People, what's good with y'all, man? Salute. Y'all know, for all y'all who support me, man, all the subscribers, all those who know me personally, and for those who watch with Silent Eyes, but I really got a real, very, very uh, good topic. Maybe not a, not a very good topic. I don't want to uh, say it like that, but it's something that we need to speak about. And that is not disturbing the healing process now all of us we got uh, I, x that out people got trauma in their lives it's about how we go about doing it how we go about um our healing process you know grieving the five stages you know for whatever it is you know the depression the anxiety you know a lot of different things that come about when we experience trauma uh to our psyche, you know what I'm saying? Losing loved ones. Trying to heal in places where we need healing. You know what I'm saying? We have to really just truly, and I have to take this from one of my brothers, DS1, Sleep Stay Sleep TV. He always speaks about healing before we build. A lot of times we never heal, and the process is an ongoing, continuous thing. We use the things that we've lost in our life, no matter what, it, what that is. You have to speak to your, your situation. I can't speak to it for you, but I do have some things in my life that I've had trauma in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no matter what that is, whatever I you know get to tell y'all or express to y'all about trauma. But you have your own personal trauma that you have to deal with. You're still dealing with, or you have dealt with it so you know what kind of place I'm coming from and a lot of times I speak about you know self improving you know what I'm saying your situation your life situation your mental your physical your spiritual the aspect of things in your life but we get the blame in how we behave you know what I'm saying towards people our actions you know what i'm saying and how they speak volumes in society in the community at the workplace in our personal lives how those things could you know come off of us in a way where it's toxic you know what i'm saying to your mental to the people around you their mental we don't speak to those things sometimes. You bring it in a new year with the same situations, the same issues, the same problems, and you have yet to rectify whatever it is that you're going through, or even if it's multiple things. You know what I'm saying? Our stress levels are high. You know, we working on fumes. We doing too much. We trying to impress too many people around us, if that's the situation for you. You know what I'm saying? And it becomes... A spiral effect, man. Uh, you know, shit rolled downhill. We know that. You become sleep deprived because of some things that you're going through and you're not seeking the help. You're not seeking some guidance. And I speak to that very highly because I'm a person that believes in, you know, seeking guidance and getting help when you need it. Even if you don't even know who to go to, even if you don't have any close friends, there is somebody in your life that you can go to to seek that help if you choose not to get professional help people don't think or speak about those things as often as we need to shed a light on it for those who have a voice for those who speaking for the voiceless or for those who want to bury and hide and scurry away from the issue or topic at hand you have a lot of people like that in life they have to be able to come out of that ball and express what's really going on because they don't want people to look and judge them because of the situation that they have or the, or the situations that they have in their life. People don't like to be judged. They don't like to <clears throat> experience that hurt. And sometimes they don't like to hear the truth about what it is that they're going through and everybody has their own time and how they deal with things but when you let things linger it becomes 
very detrimental to the way you live. It becomes detrimental to the people around you and how they would like to help you, but they can't find a way to help you because you become closed off. You become so closed off to the fact where you distance yourself from people. You distance yourself from love. You distance yourself from companionship. You distance yourself from just friendships because of some things that you're going through. You know, I mean, it's a variety of things I can mention. You know, substance abuse could be a trauma for you. Somebody in your life personally experiencing those problems. Drinking, you know, that's part of substance abuse, but everything, you know what I'm saying? There's small things that trigger us. There's certain things that we hear that trigger us. Sometimes it could be our, 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 our health in general that triggers us to to not to be closed off from people you know we don't mention certain things when we on these social media platforms you do have people who speak about things but i'm speaking to you because some of y'all personally know me but for those who don't personally know me and know me from these platforms i want to speak life into your situation where as you need to receive some help you know don't be embarrassed about what it is that you're going through because everybody go through something. Sometimes you feel like when you hear other people's story, you start to think, well, it's not that bad. You know, it's not as bad as I thought it could be, you know, because things could be worse. But at the time, you don't want to hear that. You don't that's that doesn't you don't comprehend that when you're going through it and nobody else is walking the line that you're walking. Cause this is your life. These is, these is your life experiences. I do understand that. I've had some things where I had to deal with on my own that nobody could possibly know what it is that I'm going through. So we have our own life issues. We don't, we have our own, you know, self battles that we have to manage. But my thing is, is what I'm trying to get across to you is don't let it linger. Time does heal all wounds. We do know that. You know, and for those who don't, it does. It's just you want it to be fixed like that right now. I get I wholeheartedly get it. Lord knows I do. I get it. I've had like I said, I've had some things that I'm battling with that I'm taking care of. I'm taking the necessary precaution. I'm taking the steps. There's a there's a process to this. It doesn't change overnight. Your issues don't go away like that. They just don't. And if they do, by the grace of God, he's done it for you then. But what I want to explain to you is, in due time, seek your help. Don't let it linger. Don't let things trigger you, because they will. It may not be over in two weeks. It may not be over in five months. It may not even be over in a year. But if you speak to your situation as you should, as you should seek guidance to do, Eventually, in time, you'll get over that hurdle. You'll get over that problem. You'll get over that trauma. Because nobody that loves you want to see, see you hurt or continue to hurt. There's a lot of things we lose in this life, but life does keep going. As long as you're alive, you'll be able to rectify a lot of things. You'll be able to correct things that you thought you wouldn't. And time does correct if you seek what you need and what you want. Very tough. It's very tough to sit here and think about how things could be better. But right now, at this present moment, at this present time, I'm going through it. I don't want to be closed off from people. I don't want to be closed off from loved ones. I just don't. Me personally or people that I know. It's okay to be closed off for a second. Just, 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 just a little amount of time so you can sort through some things in your mind. But know that people love you. You know that people want to see you do good. They don't want to see you hurting. But what I'm telling you, again, take the time that you need. Seek the help that you want. And you may hear the things that may bring you a brighter day 
and a better tomorrow. So with that being said, people, I want to keep it there. I want these words, my words to resonate with you. I want it to move your soul. I want you to seek whatever it is that you want to seek and apply to your life. That's from my heart. That's from me to you. So, with that being said, y'all be blessed. I'm going to keep it pushing. Until the next one. All right?